Hey, hey, all you minties, this is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, and today, just as promised, here is my updated book tour of 2020. So, please stay tuned. And welcome back, everybody. Get a little closer here, and we'll go ahead and get started. We're going to get a little more personal. We're going to start up at the very top, where you see my copy of, my lonely copy of Letter 44. I didn't get any more because, I don't know, I may end up selling that copy. I really wasn't into it. And over here, some of the greatest comics ever written in the history of mankind, and that is Vault of Horror, Tales from the Crypt, and Haunt of Fear. This is the EC Archives, now printed by Dark Horse, originally printed by Gem, uh, Gemstone Publishing, did it for a couple of, or actually for quite a number of years. My wife was asking me earlier, why is this box so big? This is the, um, the original box for the Gemstone Publishing, the black and white reprints in hardcover, but I got rid of them, but I like the box so much I decided to keep it. And over here we have some other stuff, we have some Dark Horse stuff, we have some Vertigo stuff, uh, we have some Boom books, this is the way my brain works, this is how I like to keep my books. Um, here let me show you some of the artwork in here, because I know some of you all asked me, I'm going to not pull out every book because I have no idea how long this episode's going to go, if I do every book, but this is the eerie and creepy archives again just horror anthologies with wonderful artwork like you have some uh, bernie wrightson in here of course the ec stuff had wally wood so so this um creepy and eerie had a little more mature content i want to say a lot more nudity and sexual content but these are great there's a lot more these are not all of them and over here is a book i talked about recently uh Graphic novels I'm thankful for because this reminds me of my pup Nikita. Uh, so moving on to the TMNT IDW stuff. So far as of this video, here it is. All 11 volumes, Gem and Holograms. This is a really cool book because I, I swear I, I swear I'm not going to pull out all of them. I didn't know you owned that. Yeah, look. What is this, Melanie? The Trapper Keeper. Oh, it is! <laughs> the design of the book is a Trapper Keeper. <laughs> it's like IDW? I yeah. So it's another just retelling of 80s cartoons uh, done, you know, in a modern style. It's got some Sophie, uh, not Sophie Turner, Sophie Campbell artwork. Sophie Turner is what's her name from Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, Power Rangers. i uh, got to put Beyond the Grid in, but I've got that over there for my haul for the month of November. So I do a haul every month. And then, of course, Irredeemable. Hopefully one day, boom, we'll reprint those. And there's my buddy Scrooge. Nailbiter. These, I think, volume two and three are out of print right now. My Lonely Vampirella from Dynamite, which I'm sure I'll, I'll get another one. Uh, something special. I think I showed this off last year. Um, this is uh, Marshall Blueberry from my Mi Hermano de España, Simón. Oh, did he write a note at the beginning? Of course he did. Oh, no. let's read it. No. <laughs> That's for your next year's I'm Thanksgiving. <laughs> I have a target uh, time for this video. video. <laughs> uh, but this is the stuff by Mobius. And for some reason, not in hardcover format here in America or collected properly here in America. I think we only have a total of like four or six of those. And some of the greatest Transformer comics. No, the greatest Transformer comics. Phase 2. Here's phase one behind Optimus. This is the IDW stuff, the hardcover collections. I've done overviews of all those. Yeah, that's the first printing. I think the second printing they fixed that. And phase two, volume 12, I believe, comes out early next year in 2021, depending on when you're watching this video. Now, why is this still in plastic? Uh, this is a limited edition. This is my buddy Kyle sent me this this is the all hell megatron oh limited edition. this is the red yeah. one so yeah this is all hell megatron it's still in it's plastic next to my favorite doctor david Tennant. and down here we have the walking dead and i know i you know some of y'all have asked me why i don't show off the walking dead or talk about it and i've done an overview of the walking dead um, but it's just, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't add it to my favorite horror comics. Just, um, it was okay. But I did like the artwork. I grew, I loved uh, Charlie Adler's artwork. Uh, but the story was just okay. I know people are big fans of the TV show and the comic. Here's Mind Management by Matt Kent. Ghostbusters. Uh, so my buddy Kyle got me the first two books. And then my buddy Raz found me the Mass Hysteria, which is now out of print, which is ridiculous. This is uh, Rust, Transformers Revolution. 
and down here a lot of these books may look familiar to you all because I've done overviews of them uh, we have the Street Fighter book Spawn next to it and Spawn was supposed to get a reprint some of these were however for some reason Todd McFarlane put a uh, block on that because I think he wants to sell them as compendium versions but I love these deluxe hardcovers I think this is the best way to own them they're gorgeous have brand new covers on them if you want to see I've done an overview on the channel of these hardcovers if you want to check that out and down here at the bottom you see the Marvel Ultimate lineup these are the oversized hardcovers the Omnis are on the other side but this is where I keep them all the way to Ultimatum Ugh. not the best part of the Ultimate Universe up at the top you see some hidden gems you'll be seeing those in some hidden gem videos I do hidden gem videos from time to time and then moving down here but Barrier is freaking phenomenal if you've not read Barrier. You have the original Ninja Turtles stuff here. This is the stuff by Eastman and Laird. And then G.I. Joe, the IDW years. Discontinued series, sadly. Here we have the G.I. Joe Classic line with Sonic Mega Man. And then this right here are the... Um, these. This is what IDW calls an omnibus. Are these little small manga size books right here. But this is what they consider an omnibus and not at all but that's the only way to own all of um, Beast Wars in that format then of course the Marvel Transformer years and the UK also discontinued because there were supposed to be a total of eight of these and they stopped at volume five more to me see this was reprinted this is really cool this is like a handbook uh, this is during the Dreamwave years but IDW reprinted these too so while I'm not the biggest fan of Pat Lee and what he did to the artist, I did appreciate that it brought a lot of people to Transformers. Love that cover. G.I. Joe versus the Transformers. This is a classic. This hasn't been reprinted. This is the Devil's Deuce series. And this is in hardcover format. And moving on down. Some of my favorite graphic novels down there. I'm sure you've seen them on videos before. And we and Nikita. That's my puppy. baby. Yeah. When she, she was a puppy. When she was a puppy. That's right. Um, we have the First Kingdom. I showed off the artwork in that last year. I love those books. Nobody talks about those books enough. Morning Glories, which right now is on hiatus, but Nick Spencer did say that he's going to bring it back. Queen and Country, and then Monsters. I don't know what that's doing there. And down here at the bottom, my wife got me the Love and Rockets collection. And I got to volume two. I need to keep trying to read it. I don't know what it is about Love and Rockets. I just can't get uh, through it for some reason. I know it's got a huge following. Uh, then you have one of my favorite graphic novels, Habibi by Craig Thompson. He's the gentleman that did Blankets and Boxers and Saints. Uh, yeah, um, we just recently did the Dragon Hoops books yeah. that he did. And that's the book that he was opening up. Oh, that's so cool. And let's go up here. Up at the very, very top, you have the, wait a minute, the incomplete six gun collection, damn it. So that's just the first five, there's a six one, of course. Uh, the Hellboy Library Edition, which to me is the best way to own them. I, I think that the mapping is better in the Omnibus Editions, but I love the oversized Hellboy Library Editions. The Goon, again, the mapping is better in the, uh, newly printed thicker trades but i love library editions because of the oversized artwork the fifth beetle a wonderful underrated book let's, let's just show you some of this artwork it's a beautiful story too it's about their uh manager who they consider to be the fifth beetle this oh, is oh this those is a beetles i was thinking blue beetle <laughs> No, that's in DC. This is one of my hidden gems, absolutely. Right next to the complete phonogram up there by Karen Gillen. Uh, Chew. And there is a new Chew series coming out recently. Lock and Key, that's the box set. Still debating on whether to upgrade to the Master Edition or not. Here we have BPRD, Ape Sapien, more of the Mignola universe. My wife did an overview recently of Revival. She dug it. Yep. And Baltimore down here we have some image comics ultimate uh, collections of Invincible you love those I do I do I never got the oversized ones I, I, I like these good enough and then 100 bullets which is getting an omnibus 
just the first one. I don't know if they've announced the second one yet, but I hope it collects the six issue miniseries that was post of uh, these hardcovers. And then of course the Ed Brubaker stuff here. Whenever Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips get together, it's like a dream team. They can do no wrong. I love it. And I think it's always a tough choice. I went with Kill or Be Killed when I did my top 10 Image comics, but honestly, if Criminal was printed by Image, which it is being reprinted by Image early next year, and damn it, that just reminds me, I need to get volume three. Uh, I probably would have gone with Criminal. I love that book. And then we have some Brian K. Vaughn down there next to Matt Fraction's Casanova. Here's a Rick Remender book I don't hear a lot of people talk about. This is Strange Girl, and this is the complete series. Let me just show you some of this artwork here by Eric Wynn. It's like this uh, psychedelic... I remember picking this up in a comic book store years ago. And it's a psychedelic it. uh, type of artwork, cartoony artwork, but I really dig it. I thought it was a pretty fun story. But that is Rick Remender, same guy that did Uncanny X-Force... Uh, went on to do uh, Fear Agent, which I, I still think is his magnum opus. I love his stuff. And you'll be seeing more of his stuff here in a little while. Um, here is Glory, one of my top ten favorite image titles. East of West, Manhattan Project. I need to read Claws again for Christmas. The, there's a second hard or a third hardcover. I haven't picked up the second one because I was waiting for the third one to be announced. Coming out on December 30th. For some reason, they didn't release it this year by Christmas time. And that's Super Sexy Time Santa Claus, for those <gasps> not familiar with them. And Trillium by Jeff Lemire. And down here, sadly, with the lone volume of Peter Panzerfaust. It never got picked up for a second volume. Next to the Mice Templar series, Paper Girls. I got volume three over there in my November haul. And I'll be showing where I put that stuff. And then, of course, more image and... My Others. favorite thing is monsters. Ooh, this is a good book right here. Yes, my favorite thing is monsters. It is freaking brilliant. I thought we were supposed to get a second book. This is Oko. Oops. Oko. And this is the complete series. I wish they would do a deluxe format of this because the artwork and the story is just so badass. I love this stuff. Uh, but it's only the the uh, the complete story is only available in this format, and I want to say right now this format is out of print, sadly. But this is Oko. Honestly, right here, back to back, these these three are just hidden gems. Lady Mechanica, because I'm a big Benitez fan, and of course Rising Stars by JMS. Moving down to the next set. Oh, man, I forgot my buddy Thomas Judge sent me those Elephant Man a couple years ago. Shout out to Thomas. And then the Witchblade Compendiums, the softcover collections. Fallen Angel, the Peter David run right here. And uh, let me show you this book. So this is Creed. This is the Omnibus Edition, again, IDW, by Trent Kaniuga. I remember seeing this guy's artwork when I was in, um, I think, oh, I was in Chicago at a convention in 1995 and some of his artwork was hanging up of course he's evolved but I remember looking at this stuff thinking oh my gosh this kid is gonna be like the Nest Todd McFarlane I think he has a YouTube channel now um, I think he designs video games if I'm not mistaken but this is the complete Creed not to be confused with the band Ugh. or the Rocky movie or the Rocky movie which is better you're right you're right Roughneck which is freaking awesome and some other series over here. Wrinkles, another one of my favorite by Paco Roca. And down here we have the Rick Remender library editions. So from Image and Dark Horse because Fear Agent, the library editions of those are out of print. Uh, but this is uh, all of Rick Remender's. I believe there's a DCBS variant for Deadly Class and Black Science, if I'm not mistaken. But if I had to choose one, it definitely would be Fear Agent is my favorite, followed by Deadly Class, of course. Now, let's move on to the Marvel stuff. All right, so let's start at the very, very top. You have Sky Doll, and then you have Kaiju Max, and the Parker Martini Edition. And now we move on to the Marvel stuff. So over here, you have Spider-Man. All of this is Spider-Man. All of this is cheese. And this, this is also Spider-Man. <laughs> I don't know if y'all watch Borat or not. Um, then you have Cable, and I've done, this is where I get a lot of my stuff for my comprehensive reading orders. I put these all in chronological order. Uh, you have Captain America all the way over here. 
mixing in the epic collections with trade paperbacks and i think some people think that's blasphemous but this is just me this is the way that i order my things uh exiles over here with bub and bob sorry bob bub from bubble bobble um no wait that is bub the hell am i talking about <laughs> my little girls made me though so i have to uh, point those out fantastic four all this in alphabetical order one of my favorite books the hood by brian k vaughn uh, over here we have the Hulk stuff, the Infinity Watch, which is getting an omnibus. No, not getting an omnibus. Not starting any rumors. Sorry, that's Infinity Crusade. Uh, this is getting the omnibus. This is not Immortal Iron Fist. That sold my omnibus. I know. You know. Believe it or not, I don't have all the omnis. I'm not one of those guys that collects all the omnis. I just get the ones that I like. And you have Iron Man right here, all the way to Miles Morales, Spider Man. Moving over here to Moon Knight. You're not gonna mention. Okay, let's talk about this. right here. This was a nice gift from uh, David. This is for um, uh, the Stan Lee celebration, like celebrating his life. And it's just one of those things I'll always keep. It was really sweet. Uh, over here, you have all the Hulk stuff, She-Hulk. This is the stuff that's not in the Omnibus by Dan Slott. This is the stuff by Peter David. And then two Dracula books. I'm also missing volumes. I don't have everything, believe it or not. Of course, Thor, which I just recently did a Thor reading order. And more Thor. Leading up to the X titles down here, right next to my boy Wolverine. My wife made that. But let's show us. Let's off. go, Bub. Yeah, that guy. So cute. My, when my kid says, let's go, Bub, it's so cute. Uh, here's the Epic Collections of Wolverine. We're getting a second omnibus in 2021 and then the Daniel Way stuff as much as I harp on about or as much as I'm not a fan of Daniel Way I still have those because I'm an idiot and a completist you just said you were not <laughs> so which is it? I'm a completist when it comes to X-Men do not argue with oh, me okay, woman okay there you go there you go that was like, that's why I have the X-Men Chuck Austin books too because I'm that guy I could be talking about how horrible his run ins and still buy a Chuck Austin omnibus and here is X Factor. And down at the bottom, more X titles. X Men Legacy, which we need Omnis of that, speaking of Omnis. And Dawn of X, which is wrapping up, leading into the X of Swords, which leads into the Reign of X, which I'm sure will lead into the Fall of X. Now, let's look at the DC stuff. Up at the top, it's Wednesday Comics. Probably. One of the biggest uh, formats that DC put out. It's bigger than the absolutes. and But it's the only place that I like. I love keeping it because it's just an anthology of little stories during the... Not... Um, during the one year later arc. And over here is DC in alphabetical order. You have all the stuff like Aquaman up there. Azrael. That one uh, trade paperback that released of his. Then you have all the Bat stuff moving this way. Which I've done a Batman reading order. So if you want to check out the channel, if you're just visiting on the channel, we have a playlist and uh, one of the playlists is reading orders. And then moving down here, we have Birds of Prey and all the way to Catwoman. This stuff, I would love Birds of Prey by Chuck Dixon and Gail Simone just collected in omnibus format. Then we have um, all the DC stuff, including the events. If it's a trade paperback or in standard size hardcover sometimes i put the lux editions in there if it's in chronological orders the way that i like to keep it there's green arrow I do need to get rid of these because i have the omnibus and hopefully they'll announce a second omnibus sometime soon and of course down here we have green lantern also did an um a reading order of that and a reading order of justice league so these are custom bound justice league books these are the trades that i decided to keep uh, because the new omnibus leaves out some of the issues that are collected in these so these are made from single issues my buddy Kyle got me this set and over here we have more Justice League Legion lost I wish they would continue this run a lot of Legion hasn't been really collected in proper format Nightwing speaking of books that need to be in omnibus format I know we have a new 52 um, here in a couple actually this week coming up when this was filmed but I love the Chuck Dixon and Scott McDaniel stuff collected in omnibus format here's Robin and Suicide Squad 
Another missed opportunity. I wish they had done that in omnibus format. This is my wish list. There's going to be a lot of those for DC. Look at you, Man of Steel. But here's the Superman stuff. And I do have a custom bound of Superman from Man of Steel, the relaunch after Crisis on Infinite Earths, all the way up until the death and return of Superman. And then we have the rest of the DC stuff down here, including the versus Marvel. Um, for the longest time, there was a solicitation for an omnibus of that, but it never came. And then the new 52 stuff in standard edition, uh, standard edition hardcovers and in trade paperback down there. And then we have the some of the rebirth trade paperbacks are over here. And I guess the post rebirth stuff. Over here we have some of the bigger Marvel books. We have the gallery edition books right there. Some beautiful books. And then of course the big monster sized books they've been putting out. Uh, these are books I'm currently reading right now. And over here we have some fan mail. Thank you all so much. Bunch of artwork from Matthew, from Graham, and of course, yes, you all had to just send me a Alf doll. <laughs> I wish I could do an Alf voice try, impersonation. Try to make an Alf uh, omnibus happen. Uh, there's some Star Wars books right there. And we're looking at things here from this angle. This is where the magic happens. Uh, this is where the mic is, the lights over here. And then over here is where I do my reading of books that I'm going to be doing overviews of, like uh, Thanos, The Infinity Saga, Uncanny X-Men Volume 2. We've got Berserk over here in Helsing. Uh, some Marvel trades, because I do Mar upcoming Marvel trades every week. Some books from Viz over here. And then the machine that I edit on right there. That's my baby. All right, let's look at some of these Marvel oversized hardcovers. Over here is the side of the box of the X-Men Children of the Atom box set. And these are all done in alphabetical order. We have Avengers over here. Uh, we have Avengers versus X-Men. I think that fits more into the Avengers storyline, even though it causes that schism. Uh, but we have Black Panther, Captain America, Guardians of the Galaxy, because we don't have a second omnibus from Brian Michael Bendis. Some of the Hulk books that are omnibus size, but they're OHCs. Immortal Hulk, Miss Marvel, NYX. This box set that's out of print now, uh, Stephen King's Dark Tower. And I think the rights now belong to someone else. I don't think Marvel can reprint that. And of course, the top shelf, even though that's top shelf. We'll look at the other, <laughs> we'll look at the other OHCs on the back, but. This is a bar. This, is, to me it is. Uh, so, we're, yeah, X-Men, this is it. Now, what's interesting that uh, a lot of people know, we all uh, talked about this, this is the non-glossy cover to the X-Men book. All the books were printed this way. This is the only one that is not printed with this gloss look to it. But this is X-Men Volume 1 and Volume 2. So hopefully when they reprint this book, they'll reprint it in this format that all the other Marvel Omnis are in. But here are the X-Men and amazingly put together chronological reading order and I mean amazingly just because I did it uh, but this is my chronological <laughs> reading order the way that I like to keep my X-Men I mix in oversized hardcovers and omnis together because I want to have the best reading experience and I'll be doing an updated X-Men reading order because on my reading orders that one is about two years old and I need to update it with trade paperbacks but here's X-Force all the other titles Uncanny X-Force, uh, all new X-Men. Why is that there? That doesn't fit there. <laughs> oh, hell. It wasn't me. It wasn't that me. That goes down here. <laughs> all right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Got to fire the maid. Mm. Wait, I'm the maid. Uh, here's uh, Wolverine, of course, making room for volume two when that comes out. Uh, we have Jason. We have Jason Aaron's uh, Wolverine over here, and then that leads into Wolverine and the X-Men. Weapon X. And we have X-Force books over here where Uncanny X-Force belongs. Now, all of my Marvel Omnis are done in alphabetical order with the exception of, like I said, the X-Men books and the modern Cosmic Saga. Uh, there's a couple of other exceptions too. Never mind. Forget it. Let's just keep going. Here's uh, Amazing Fantasy, Amazing Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man all the way up to Spider-Man vs. Venom. And then, of course, the notorious Clone Saga here that ends with the Ben Riley Saga. 
We'll need some more Omnis to go all the way up until Amazing Spider-Man. I don't have Amazing Spider-Man by John Byrne. I think I had it for like a week and decided what was wrong with me. It's not mapped well at all, so I decided uh, to get rid of it. And here's my Avengers. I'm a big fan of Avengers The Crossing. I think I'm alone there. Avengers by Jonathan Hickman. I think a lot of people want that reprinted. But I think what will be reprinted first is Fantastic Four by Jonathan Hickman. So yes, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I do announce reprints on the channel as part of my breaking news. So Marvel lets us know when books are going to have a new printing, and I announce them on the channel. Here's Captain America, which we are getting a, first, uh, a new printing of the first volume of this. And of course the Conan stuff here, the stuff that I have been loving recently. I got into Conan with this book right here, the original Marvel years, and just fell in love with it. Because I had read this, uh, the Kurt Busiek stuff, but I don't know. There's something about Roy Thomas's run, Barry Winter Smith, and John Buscema. And then over here we have Daredevil. That <laughs> I put Marvel Knights in here because this does kick off with the Daredevil Mar Marvel Knights storyline. Oh, and over here is where I keep my books that I'm going to show off in my monthly haul. So for the haul in November, I'll be filming this sometime in December. Th these are the books that will have uh, will be in the video. So there you go. And over here we have the box set. This is the other side of the shelf. This is the X Men Children of the Atom box set, and it's a little tight quarters here that we have with these two bookshelves right next to each other. But let's go back here to the other side so we have omnis over here of dark tower this is the gunslinger and the stand right there uh, mary jane loves spider-man or spider-man loves mary jane rather so you have some spider-man ohc's here these are all the oversized hardcovers so these are the deluxe edition star wars thor until we get an omnibus of that young avengers and then we have some deadpool stuff i mix the deadpool with the oversized hardcovers because i think they were yeah they were released as mini buses here sorry the oversized hardcovers are on the other side there's earth x fantastic four and these are the books that i think a lot of people want reprinted and that is the jonathan hickman stuff which they are awesome and have been out of print for quite a number of years here's some guardians of the galaxy stuff adventure into fear heroes reborn heroes return the phenomenal Peter David Hulk run, Planet Hulk, World War Hulk, Thanos. Uh, this is where I, yeah, this is where I put the Thanos stuff. So Thanos, I think, belongs in the Infinity trilogy. So we have the Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity War, Infinity Crusade will go there. There's Iron Man, and what you're not seeing is the Silver Age Captain America, Silver Age uh, Iron Man, Silver Age Thor, because I got rid of those a while back and I decided to get them in epic format. That's the way that I like to collect some of the books because I figured they would go further and they have with some of the titles. Um, here we have Miss Marvel. Hopefully we'll get a volume two of that and hopefully we'll get a volume two of New Warriors. One day, one day, wishful thinking. Power Pack, Punisher, right there. I need to get Pun Punisher, uh, the very first omnibus that came out. Hopefully we'll get more of that classic stuff. And then of course She-Hulk here by John Byrne and then the other one by Dan Slott. There's the other Jonathan Hickman book. This one's been out of print for a while too. And that's Secret Warriors. And Secret Wars 1 and 2. And then we have some of the Silver Surfer stuff here. The Dan Slott stuff, Solomon Kane, Squadron Supreme. I actually need to get the updated Squadron Supreme book. The Timeless Classics right there and then we have Thor again not the Silver Age stuff we have some ultimate stuff right there now so many people want that ultimate spider-man reprinted and hopefully uh, more volumes of that but no word yet on that here's Venoms and of course including absolute carnage down there because it's part of the Donny Cates Venom run and we have War of the Realms that will probably be put with Thor when Thor comes out. The Jason Aaron stuff. And others. Star Wars in Oz. All right, let's look at some DC Omnis and oversized hardcovers. And let's also look at the like button. 
If you'd like to look at the like button and hit it. Thank oh, you. yes, yes. Don't forget to hit that like button, please. It does help with our YouTube algorithm and our channel grow. So here's my absolute collections, including the JLA Avengers absolute beautiful book. I don't know what the chances of that one being reprinted are. Everything else I think is fair game, except for absolute Promethea for some reason. Absolute um, Preacher is gorgeous. Yeah, it looks like a Bible, which is kind of blasphemous, yeah. but still, it's a great freaking series. I don't care. Uh, Sandman, and as of this video, we only have two Swamp Things. There should be a third one to wrap that series up. Transmetropolitan, recently reprinting the first volume. Um, I think three is the one that had the little print run, and then the rest of my absolutes. I am missing some, but like I said, I'm not, I'm not a completist with uh, everything. There are some books that I'm missing. But there is one. I need to get Arkham Asylum. That's the one book that I do need to get. So here we are with, uh, again, the Omnis. Uh, mixing in some Vertigo stuff. This is from the New 52, so it doesn't count as Vertigo. Um, and Authority, Batman. You know, Batman didn't get a lot of love in the Man, Omnibus format. That is a thick Batman. Which one? Right from you. No, this, this the, <laughs> the letters. Oh. Thick Batman. That. Okay. Yes, yes. It's like, what are you talking about? This is thicker than Batman. Uh, then you have Blackest Night, Brightest Day, The Flash, hoping that they'll, that one does come out, Volume 2, The Fourth World. That's another thick one. And all the thick ones are right next to each other. Here's <laughs> Final sorry. Crisis. I, I, I didn't explain that very well. Uh, thicker than a snicker. That is definitely Final Crisis right there. Gotham Central, my one of my favorite DC Omnis right there. And um, Green Lantern by Jeff Johns. Green Arrow. Use some Harley Quinn love. And some House of Mystery, which I need to get House of Secrets Volume 2. Why don't I have that yet? What's up with that? Injustice, making room for Volume 2 right there. Probably my favorite event at DC, Infinite Crisis. <laughs> and the follow-up, 52. And oh, these are some great books here. Yep, this all these are bigger than Marvel, aren't they? Well, it's because of the paper that they use. They use stick paper and the binding. You know, oh, okay. honestly, that fifty-two omnibus it's not the best built book. But here's JSA, JLI, which I'm putting volume two right here. Uh, some Legion and Commandi, New Teen Titans. I think volume six was just I found it in the catalog. Some Superman books and Teen Titans and then down here we have Wonder Woman uh, by George Perez, Phil Jimenez and then Gail Simone and then of course Zero Hour. Now let's check out the other side. Alright so back to this aisle where they're face to face with the Marvel books but here are some Vertigo titles in omnibus format and some people have asked me why don't I pull out um, the books and show the artwork. I do that just about every day on my channel. I, there are different books I go over. Um, and if I were to stop, oh my gosh, Starman, this book means so much to me. And if I were to stop to look at each book that means so much to me, this video would be like five hours long. So here's why the last man I didn't upgrade to the omnibus. Scalped, speaking of omnibus, this would make a nice two volume set omnibus. Waiting on that third deluxe edition of Promethea because that omnibus never came. And then Fables, which was solicited as an absolute, and then they decided to make it a compendium. And there's Jack of Fables. No mention yet of the fairest. And then probably one of my favorite deluxe editions that they discontinued, and that is the DC Rebirth line. Beautiful, beautiful books. And I've done an overview on the channel of all these, but sadly, it's been discontinued. And... That's all she wrote. For those of you wondering about some of my custom books, here is Superman. This takes us from the Man of Steel triangle years of Superman all the way up until right before the death and return of Superman Omnibus. And then my buddy Kyle got me Batman Nightfall that actually includes uh, the correct uh, books in there like Azrael that was not included in the official Omnibus. And then here is some other stuff that, that I've custom bound many, gosh, those are probably about 15 years, 15, 17 years old, and Avengers. Mixing Jeff Johns with Chuck Austin's run? What's wrong with me? And next to my custom Superman Omnis are the two biggest books that I own. The Little Nemo Dream, Another Dream hardcover. 
and of course the classic Little Nemo. I think I have shown these books off every time I do a tour of my books. And over here we have some more of the custom Omnis. Got these from Kirk Kiefer right before he moved to Japan. That was a long time ago. But yep, those are the custom books that I've had in my collection for a while. Now yeah, let's move on to another thing. All right, let's talk about some of these books on this side. We have the Complete Calvin and Hobbes. These are the hardcover editions. And of course the Duck Comics. Oh, and then a fan sent me this statue of Scrooge diving so into his pretty. money bin. That is gorgeous. All the little pop. I don't really collect pop figures, but I love these. I had to get them. But here's the Don Rosa Library. Uh, they've done five box sets and that's it here in the States by Fanagraphics. And recently they started doing these Disney Master box sets. Um, these are books published in Europe that haven't been translated into English until now. And let me just show you some of this little artwork. So they're split up. Some of them are Scrooge and then some of them are Donald Duck. But you know, you have artists that uh, I've never read any of this stuff. And, I, and I'm tripping out over the fact that Scrooge is wearing a blue coat instead of his red coat. Mm -hmm. And they mix in Mickey in there, and that's okay. I know Don Rosa would not approve of that because he is not a fan of Mickey. Uh, here's Stan Sakai stuff. So this is the am amazing, just wonderful Usagi Ojimbo. And this is the fanographic stuff. This collects the first seven volumes that are not printed in the Usagi Ojimbo saga. So the saga starts with the Dark Horse stuff. Uh, this has the crossover with the Ninja Turtles. And then they're reprinting volume one of the Stan Sakai Usagi Ojimbo saga, but the, it's limited to 600 copies. Oh yeah, and then we saw Stan at the Baltimore Comic Con, and him and it, his daughter drew that. His daughter drew the Chibi Usagi, and he drew Usagi. And then here's the covers. Oh, this beautiful box sets here. Uh, we have the Inkal by Jodorowsky and Mobius, collected in this beautiful format, slipcase, hardcover edition. I've done overviews of these on the channel. And then, of course, the wonderful definitive hardcover edition of the Meta Barons. There we go. This wonderful edition. Yeah, it's two hardcovers in here by Jodorowsky and Jimenez, who passed away this year, sadly. And then recently, I got... Well, not recently. Oh, my gosh. This has been months ago. But I've been starting to read some of this stuff here. And this is the Tintin stuff. I finally... And of course, I pull out the one that's behind the scenes. Let me pull out another book. <laughs> but this is this Tintin collection. I think it's just missing one book that they couldn't print. But I asked a lot of my European and Australian subscribers what the best format is to collect Tintin. And they pointed me to this awesome box set. So thank you all so much. These are all soft cover, but they're oversized. So they're big and you can read the words. Ah, here's some... Here's a hidden gem right here. Actually, two hidden gems, but I'll keep the other one a secret for now. Here is Rusty Brown. I love the way that this book looks. Some map and poster in the back under the dust jacket. Looks like it's been checked out at the library. But this book is so freaking awesome. I definitely want to add this as one of my favorite books that I read towards the beginning of this year. So at the end of the year, I'll do my top 10 uh, graphic novels of 2020. And spoilers, this is probably going to be on there. But this is the way it looks. And over here is PTSD. And right next to it is the three uh, hardcover box set of Dreadstar by Jim Starlin. Back to the duck books. We have the Carl Bark stuff here of Donald and Uncle Scrooge. But this is all in chronological order. The Minds of King Solomon. Some beautiful Carl Barks artwork. Man. Carl Barks and Don Rosa. You know, I know I know I know most people are like, ah, Carl Barks. That for me it's been Don Rosa. And then of course another printing of The Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck, which is my favorite duck story. Uh, here's some IDW collections of these are also European duck comics that never made it to America. Um, so you have some artwork in here from just different artists and different stories that have been translated. But this line got discontinued. And now Fanagraphics is publishing stuff like this. But see, this is the way that I remembered Scrooge with his red coat. 
Not the blue coat. So every time I see him with a blue coat, I think of DuckTales. Um, oh, speaking of DuckTales, here's Darkwing Duck. This is the out of print uh, trade paperback edition. And what's interesting about the trade paperback is that every word in here has been rewritten. The original writer, for some reason, didn't want anything to do with it. So the co-plotter and somebody else ended up writing every um, word, rewriting every word in this. It's That's out of print as well as the Darkwing Duck. Brooks. Brooks sent me this right after Nikita died. He knew this. I was missing this one, and it's out of print. It's after I lost my pup. Oh, he's such a nice guy. And then the two Darkwing volumes. Sadly, short-lived series. And we have some boom stuff over here, and wasteland you know i basically got these because of the cover i love that cloth cover that's like um the hellboy books but these are in black and white printed by oni press there's a butt shot there goes the monetization and that's the kind of artwork that's in here and i've only read the first volume i need to get back to that because i thought the first one was pretty good all right some damn big books. I'm kicking it off with big damn Sin City, baby. That was in the library, or that was in the living room for a long time. Yeah, this is a huge book. This collects all of Frank Miller's uh, Sin City book. Uh, this one literally just went out of print again. It was on its third printing, and Dark Horse swears up and down that that was the last printing, and you're not going to be able to get it again. But we'll see. We'll see. They've said that before. Here is the Conan, the Colossal stuff. Now, this stuff is out of print, uh, but Marvel did reprint the Kurt Busiek stuff, so hopefully they'll do the Truman and eventually the Wood run. And here's the Gail Simone. It's as tall as these Colossal books, so I thought it'd be fitting to put it here. This one's published by Dynamite. Umbrella Academy, I went with the library editions instead of the slipcase, but I did get the slipcase. This is the first printing of the True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys. That's a cute... I, have no, I don't know anything about it. That's a cute logo. It's not cute. Okay. <laughs> and then the library editions of Black Hammer. We've got two more World of Black Hammer coming out in 2021. And I think he says he's going to go back and do more stories. So I'm all in because I love that stuff. My wife could tell you about Red Rat Queens. Queens. She's a big fan of I that. I like it. It's uh, ridiculous. A hidden gem right here. Sword of the Swashbucklers. This is Bill Mantlo and Jackson, guys. I did a review of this on the channel. And this was a Kickstarter book that eventually Dynamite published. Oh, so good. That's a hidden gem. And so is this right here, Killing and Dying. Mm -hmm. This is solid. So many books. So many books. Uh, here is the Mage Limited Editions. That's book one. And then book two. And waiting on the hardcover of book three. Here's Kieran Gillen's Wicked and the Divine. All of it here. Black Magic, this beautiful book, Above the Clouds, and this awesome ukulele book that I was sent to review. I really like Snapdragon. That was cute. Where his prison pit is not cute at all. This book is disturbing and kind of funny. I liked it. Now, I did a review of the Gypsy Omnibus. I really dug the artwork in that. Battle Chasers by Joe Mad, Artifacts. These are the slipcase editions there's ultra sword missing girls that's what i need why is this here this should be with volume one see this is why i do book tours so i can go and put my books back where they belong <laughs> why is lucky luke um upside down that's the way they're printing them i don't know they're, they're not upside down so oh. this is lucky luke finally coming here to america by cinebooks oh okay it's uh, love this stuff is it european Mm-hmm. that's why that's why it's upside down? Yeah. As well as Valerian. They're printing Valerian. Right here. So this is what the, the movie is based on. The comic here. And move it on. Two other independent books. Like Sword Daughter, which I need to get the third one. And Hero Omnibus. Or books big thick books milk and cheese oh man lady killer this is the library edition freaking love this book this is beautiful deadly look at that joel jones just killing it probably not the best picture show but i can edit that um but yeah i love love this book 
and the aliens and predator stuff right here a couple of other books on this side oh Dennis the Menace so what's missing from down here is the peanuts collection because our peanuts stuff is all upstairs because the girls like having access to those books here's flight I did an overview of how much I love all eight volumes of those Ah, the eight. The eight's too low. Uh, you and your OCD. <laughs> Lumberjanes. Lady, I love Lumberjanes. Nightly News. A Hickman book that gets overlooked. Plume, or Plume. This is the Omnibus Edition. Oh, Giant Days. And I heard of Giant Days is they're going to stop publishing them in hardcover format, which sucks, because I really like that format. And over here, by its lonesome himself, is the Battle Pug Compugdium in this ridiculous format. But man, is it awesome. Look at that artwork. Oh. <laughs> here is the Bone uh, Slipcase Hardcover Edition. This is the colored version. And Pogo. And Pogo's been okay. This is the Walt Kelly stuff. Um, environmentalist. Like... I, I don't know. I don't think it was for me, so I may not get it anymore. End up selling it, um, and then Sandman, of course, um, the annotated Sandman that my wife. This is my wife's stuff. That's why two and three or three and four are sealed. Um, <laughs> what does not, that mean? Not calling her out. Here is the definitive boys. Um, recently, I did a poll on the channel to see who was interested in this uh, being printed in omnibus format in three different omnis, and I think we did it. So Dynamite's going to do that sometime. I'll let you know when exactly, when they let me know. Complete Far Side, the hardcover edition. We used to read those together. Yeah. And then back over here, you just have a variation of hardcovers from Boom, from Image Comics. Like the Black Road, this is printed by Image, but it was a title that uh, has something to do with the Northlanders, which was printed by Vertigo. So go figure. Uh, some more hardcovers. This is the TKO books which I need to get wave one and three. Why haven't I done that? Oh, yes. The Terry Moore little cube shelf. <laughs> little, that sounds so demeaning because nice, this is wonderful. I mean, Strangers in Paradise, top notch to me. One of my favorite comic books of all time. Uh, this is the follow-up series. This is Echo, the hardcover. This was gifted to me by a, a fan of the show. And man, that was a couple of years ago. You guys have sent me so much. Thank you. I wish I could name every one of you that have sent me books. And y'all are wonderful. Uh, Motor Girl, Omnibus, and Five Years Later. There is another book that he did recently. I don't have it yet, but it is on order. I cannot remember the name of it, though. And we have Shaolin Cowboy, Lost Girls by Alan Moore, Steve Lichman. Oh, the Puma Blues. This is something that nobody really talks about, but I really like this book. Uh, just the art. It's independent. It's beautiful. Really uh, wordy, though. So be prepared to read. And another book. This is uh, Kieran Gillen right here. Thunderbolt. Peter Cannon Thunderbolt. I call it a New Age Watchman. It was really good. And something that I got big into this year. <laughs> Judge That's Dredd. That's really pretty uh, cubicle as well. Oh, thank you. I'm doing an overview of volumes 7 through 12. I'm on volume eight and right now reading these and i've had such a blast they are freaking awesome uh they also uh sent me some more stuff 2000 ad sent me some more books here that i'm gonna check out um here is the witchblade volume one sadly it is a standard size hardcover i don't know why godzilla is next to it it's just the way that my brain thinks oh, okay yeah let's put that next to witchblade sunstone and spinning, which have nothing to do with each other other than female I alphabetize this what happened to it female protagonist I don't know. <laughs> I did it like a month ago. Stay on target. Uh, Army of Darkness Omnibus. This stuff, yeah, this stuff, this is all trade paperback from independent comics, uh, independent trades. Like, you have stuff from Dynamite, you have stuff from Image, you have stuff from Dark Horse, Vault Comics, Aftershock. They're all in here. This is where I keep them, and my wife is right. This is all in alphabetical order. I'm not just an omnibus collector or a hardcover collector. I don't discriminate because something is in trade paperback format i just love reading in any kind of format digital sometimes here and there and probably superpowers freaking awesome i wish they would do hardcovers of those. I, I wish they would do a hardcover of this the frank miller robocop stuff this was funny this is kyle stark's sex castle 
and then Vampirella Zombies vs. Robots. All right. Here's a couple of my favorite prints. I just need to get actual good frames for them. And then, of course, this beautiful thing right here by Adam Hughes. Ah, there are no words, right, Melanie? Look at this. Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous. Look at all the white on those ladies, except for... I love that Catwoman stands yeah, out with her good. black dress. But this is a beautiful poster. I, I I, can't remember where I was when I found this. I, and I realized that it was also out of print, so people were paying ridiculous prices online. But I went comic book shopping, I want to say with Amanda or somebody, and I ended up finding it, and I was like, oh, i got to frame that. That's beautiful. Now, a lot of you all have asked me where I get the money to buy this stuff, and here's one of my secrets. I am constantly... There we go. Selling and trading and selling. Lots of selling. That's enough. That's enough. We don't need to look at okay, all that. Okay. But yeah. So that is something that I do is sell things, not only to make room, but also to uh, give money to the collection so I can keep buying more things. This is the Monara library. I'm going to play it safe and not show any pictures from the inside. <laughs> the covers are pretty. Oh, he his artwork wow. is gorgeous. Here, hold on a second. Let me see if I can show you. His artwork is gorgeous, right? But, now I definitely can't show any of the erotic Monara stuff, but his stuff is very over-sexualized and just has a lot of, a lot of lady part nudity, if you will. Even in the um, Monara stuff, not the erotica stuff. But these are the hardcover collections, including the Borgias. This is, look at that cover. Man. He's done covers for Marvel. He's done covers for DC. Hold on a second. Okay, good. Woo! It's just decapitation. That's okay. <laughs> Violence is okay. Nudity is not, according to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I better not show that. Yeah, that's enough. Then we have Zenith here by Grant Morrison. This were These were my first 2000 AD books. This book right here. Uh, this is a box set. Um by Tardy. It was the War of Trenches and GD This War. Freaking awesome if you've not read them. And it's been recently reprinted. The Leaning Girl, this this is some trippy stuff. Let me show you some of the artwork in here. Hey, just showcasing some of this artwork here in The Leaning Girl. Look at the amount of detail in that. That is freaking phenomenal. Oh, you're zooming in. But it's a trippy book with some really trippy artwork later on. Uh, it's just awesome. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, probably some of my favorite books right here. Black Sad. This stuff is awesome. Then um, Mi Hermano de Mexico, uh, Ludwig, sent me the original Spanish volume. Then that's upstairs where I keep it. Here is Castle in the Stars. There's a volume four of this. This is a French comic book. Reminds me, here, let me show you some of this artwork here. This reminds me of definitely a Studio Ghibli film. Not only in well, name, but, <laughs> yes, the way, say the name for split but also the way that it looks. It's just gorgeous. But there's four volumes available. French comic book translated uh, here in America. And Snowpiercer. I don't know if I've talked about that, but I really enjoyed that comic. Station 16 made it to my... Actually, both of these books made it to my top 13 favorite horror books. And yes, Snowpiercer's solid. Smurfs. I wasn't kidding. I love the Smurfs collection. I wish they would give us a six hardcover. Oh, Peter Pan. Have I... Did I... I can't remember if I've shown this off on the channel or not. This is done by Loisel, who was an artist. He was a Disney animator. He worked on Mulan. And he did this book. It's a retelling of Peter Pan, but it's dark and twisted. And the artwork is just gorgeous. It's not the only book I have by him. Um, now, this is the original European version. There is an American version. Um, but the European one was already in English, so I decided to get it. Because uh, I didn't know about the American one. But, yes, this is Peter Pan. I highly enjoyed it as well. So, this is where I keep most of my European comics. Torpedo. Uh, it looks upside down, but I promise it's not. That's in, oh, in it's Spanish. Yeah, it's in Spanish. Inside Mobius Parts 1, 2, and 3. The World of Edena. Hopefully we'll get more Mobius stuff. Isabella, which was a great book series. Um, down here. 
We have some Peanuts books, uh, Stuff of Legend. I heard this was coming back, and I'm so excited. Doom Boy. These are smaller books, like, and the scales are different here. Here's an underrated book. I love this book. This is Doom. See what I mean if I stopped and talked about each book? This is definitely going to be on my hidden gem. So I have hidden gems on the channel where I talk about books that hardly get enough love or attention. And I want to bring to people's attention. And this is definitely on there. And the more attention I bring to this book, this is one of my favorite graphic novels of all time. That is creepy. The That's Eternaut. Oh, you intense. would love this. That's intense. You would love this. Of course, Mouse Guard. But yeah, that one is, is beautifully done and crafted. Lighthouse. This is a, definitely a hidden gem. This is also Paco Roca. Moving on to more European books down here. Um, we have the humanoid stuff. Carthago, Bouncer. I love Bouncer. Fourth Power. A lot of stuff here by Jodorowsky, of course. Mobius. Like Mad Woman, oh, and some of their bigger books right here, like Legend of the Scarlet Blades, Izuna, Sword of Glass. Oh, here's another Loisel book, but he didn't write this one; he just drew this one. I'm just showing some of this artwork right here. So I do have. You know, quite a number of European books. Of course, this can always be bigger. Um, here's some other books down here. This book is huge. This is Michael Moorcock's Elric. This is the new retelling of it. Then you have Lone Sloan Salambo. And Liberty Meadows by Frank Cho. And then, of course, the book I recommend that everybody reads. Not just making comics, but understanding comics the invisible art by scott mcleod meta barons just another format of Mary barons and another format of the incal so there's before incal incal and final incal and weapons of the meta barons by travis Cheris, and then some disney art books and remember you can purchase most of these books from our sponsor CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online source for collected editions up to 50% off. Retail price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on excellent packaging, so your stuff gets to you in excellent condition, and they have amazing customer service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And for all you minties that are watching, if you're a first-time customer, don't forget to mention that Near Mint Condition sent you their way for a promotional credit on free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your source for the hottest book, with deep discounts, customer service, and excellent shipping that will keep you coming back for more. And that's it. That is my updated tour 2020. We're done. Thank you all so much for being patient with me. I told you all I would make it happen in November. Last day of the month. Better late than never. It's like paying my bills. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet, I do put out videos every day. Uh, don't forget to like the video. It does help with our YouTube algorithm. We're on Redbubble and Patreon. Thank you so much to our existing patrons. Thank you so much to everybody for watching. If you have any questions, uh, leave them down there in the comments section. If you have any suggestions as to what I need in my library, of course, please those. Uh, leave those in the comment section as well. Um, that, that's it. Yeah, thank you. I guess I will see you next year or rather tomorrow because I'm making a video for tomorrow. So thank you, everybody. Have a blessed day.